Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I will be showing you how to, on the Galaxy S6, go back to factory firmware. Next couple of videos, I will show you how to root a device, install custom recovery in, install a custom mod. So, let's get right into it. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is go into download mode. We do that by holding the home button, the power button, and the volume down button all at once. And then read all the disclaimers and then press up to continue, volume up to continue. And now I'm going to show you where to get the factory firmware. You know, have to open up a web browser. And then from there, we're going to go to xdadevelopers.com. And then scroll down to the search box, and then in the search box, type in the name of the phone you're looking for. In this case, it's Samsung Galaxy S6. Um, it's uh, the T-Mobile variant. And remember, all modifications you make to your device is your own responsibility, but if you do follow my instructions, everything will work out fine. So over here, we're going to go into the Android development. And now we're going to scroll down to the factory images link. By the way, if you have free time uh, and you're into Android, you should check out XDA Developers. It's a very, very good resource. Um, not just to learn, but to find like different things regarding your phone help pages, information, just it's a great website. It's not just for developers, it's for, it's for everybody, it's a forum. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the 5.1.1 download link. Angel, Android file host is my favorite, so that's the one I use. Uh, as long as I can. And then you gotta press the begin download link. Sometimes you have to wait a couple seconds before you can actually download it. And then just hit, I usually hit the first download, but if it's really slow, try another mirror link. And now from here, what you gotta do too is download Odin. Which you can do that by um, uh, searching in the box again for Odin, and which I'm doing now and then you hit the respective link and download that that's basically what's going to help the computer communicate with your phone in order to um, flash the factory firmware it's what uh, Samsung uses also uh, when you do this method you are going to need a program like 7-zip or WinRAR uh, just something to unpack a zip file because um, uh, Odin comes compressed and you need to uncompress that. So now what I'm doing here is I'm um, finding the file location and where they're stored and I'm just gonna put everything onto the desktop which I suggest you do too. It makes everything a lot easier to find. Yep, all I'm doing here in the file explorer is just dragging and dropping. Uh, at first, what you just saw me do is I first I unpacked Odin, which is why you need 7-zip or WinRAW to extract it. Um, you can usually get free trials. I think one of them is free too. I, I don't remember which one. I use 7-zip. I didn't pay anything for it. So again, here I am um, dropping the files into the desktop to make it a lot easier. Okay, now we're going to have to run Odin as an administrator. This is the program that communicates with the device. And as you see in the corner, um, not only do, you, do I run it as an administrator, but it is the point where you connect it to the USB. Um, make sure you're in download mode when you do this, and then once you connect the USB to the computer, you should see a COM indication. See how that blue light just popped up? That's important. That that note that shows that Odin is recognizing the device. 
now you go into AP and check that box and this box will come up and then you have to pick that um, factory firmware that we just downloaded that's why I put on the desktop so it's easier and then what it will do is it will go through a cycle and it will check it and verify the hash code and make sure that um, the file is complete and all that good stuff this usually helps prepare you for a safer flush but always know who and where you're getting your stuff from um, make sure the reputable sources because um, if you don't use this program properly it can um, have negative effects on your device but again if you follow everything to the T it, it should be easy so now it's verified notice how it just showed up in that box and everything's fine then once you're ready you press the start button and I'll show you what it looks like on the Android screen it'll pop up what it's doing anytime now it'll pop up uh, there it is okay so uh, as you can see on the Android device you can see that it's in download mode and it's actually receiving there's a status bar that popped up um, and what happens is once this completes um, basically it just reprogrammed your phone um, and you're gonna start fresh and basically that's what you need to do um, to put factory firmware back to your phone. Um, this method is great in case you bricked your device, you rooted it or something wouldn't happen, or if you want a fresh start. Um, I, I really like this method, um, uh, especially when like you know you have a lot of stuff on your phone and it's, it's kind of like a computer. Sometimes it's good just to have a fresh start. But again, this also works if uh, something happens to the device and you're trying to trying to troubleshoot and fix it. Um, so in my next videos, I'm going to, uh, since I have a fresh start now, I'm going to go over how to, um, root it, install custom recovery, and install, uh, ROM. Um, I'm probably going to use, um, TWRP, um, recovery. It's my favorite touch recovery. Um, and again, um, for the root method, I am going to use Odin too. Um, so this program, um, if you're watching this video now, and you do want to root your, um, phone, keep this program around um because you're going to use it again and yeah uh i mean the only the only thing with this is um it takes the longest for it to load the system because it's the biggest file uh it doesn't take a crazy amount of time and then just be patient with it don't touch it uh, make sure everything's plugged in make sure you're using a good usb cable while you're doing this um Preferably the one that came with your phone, but if you had it, if uh, you had to get a new one, make sure it's an actual data transfer cable too, not just the charging. Make sure that's not frayed or anything, and just be very, very careful. Um, again, keep it plugged in. Be patient with it. Don't abruptly turn it off or anything like that. Just let it run through its course, and make sure that the battery is charged to a decent level. Um, again, you don't want to run out of battery or anything to happen during this, um, process of flashing. And we are just about getting done with this process now. All right, and it's about to reboot, and you can see the T-Mobile logo, Galaxy S6. Well, that's it. We just hacked it. So please like and subscribe to this video, um, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I appreciate everybody who's watching. Um, please help my dreams come true by, um, you know, helping me grow with YouTube. Um, I love, I love what I do, and thank you guys very much for everything.